Honoured by Her Majesty for courage under fire, Flight Lieutenant Christopher Gordon flew his Chinook into a firefight in Helmand to rescue 30 colleagues. His helicopter had just one engine working. He received a distinguished flying cross for his bravery and for a day he'll always remember. Extremely proud, you know, my family are very proud as well and it's, it's for all the guys back at Odium as well who were involved, mainly my crew who were involved in the situation and all the other people I've flown with as well. One of the men he rescued was Captain John Scarlett of the Coldstream Guards, who in a separate incident protected his men during an attack on a Hellman's checkpoint. Despite having been shot himself, he received a military cross. Royal Marine Sergeant Anthony Russell earned a George Medal for winching two stricken yachtsmen from 40-foot waves near the Scilly Isles. He was trapped underwater when his winch hook got caught up in the yacht's rigging and admits he wasn't sure he'd make it. I'm now pinned underneath the life raft, underwater, trying to hold my breath, and that, that's when I thought, actually, my time was up. But only briefly, and I thought, well, I didn't think it was going to be like this. And then I had a quick word with myself and thought, no, it's not going to be like this. For great courage in air-sea rescue. A Queen's Gallantry Medal went to RAF Sergeant Christopher Bradshaw, who helped rescue the survivors of a mid-air crash between two RAF fast jets over the Moray Firth last July. We spotted somebody who was alive in the water, clinging to their dinghy. So uh, then again I went into the water and uh, cut away all of his parachute and his rigging lines and everything. Servicemen from all three arms of the forces have been honoured here at Windsor Castle today, all for acts of extraordinary courage on land, at sea, even in mid-air. Whether in the heat of battle or responding to an emergency, all these men have put their lives at risk in order to save others. Victoria Smith, Forces News, Windsor Castle.